welcome back to my channel i just did a quick stop at um, costco and i felt it was good for me to do like a tour of what costco looks like i didn't do prizes but just a tour for those that haven't been in costco people that are new to saskatoon or the costco you can find costco in other cities but typical of how you find things in bulk how things are packed where to find things or the things that you can find really in costco i decided to do a tour around costco and just give you a view around it so if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button my name is afolake thank you for stopping by if you have not yet been watching my vlogs what are you doing you're missing a lot and i share so many things i help settlement easy for new immigrants that are coming into a new country like canada so if you're also migrating to any part of canada all of the videos i share here will be really useful for you to hold on to so keep watching click that subscribe button we are growing or don't be left out. let's continue to grow this channel and let's engage more so enjoy the vlog and i will catch up with you soon take care
today i just want to show you or unveil to you the process of me working on my backsplash because in my kitchen i currently don't have a backsplash and i wanted to show you before and after and how it has turned out to be um we moved into this home and of course there was no backsplash in the kitchen and we usually would have to wipe down you know the walls because of stains of cooking that splashes on the wall and that's why backsplash is really important even in your home it also improves the aesthetics of your kitchen it makes that place look beautiful and inviting um backsplash come in various ways and there are different cost implications to backsplash you can always get one even in dollarama yes you can get the backsplash as very cheap and affordable in dollarama but if you're looking for something um that will give you class beauty you need to upgrade <laughs> you know what i'm saying you need to step up and look for something that would really give you that vibe that complements everything around you with the outlook or the presentation of what it looks like so don't just get anything because you just want to have a backsplash for me i look at compliments you know opposites attract you can complement things by color by design by style you can also do form and function in the sense that you're looking at shapes alternate shapes to be able to complement stuff when you're dealing with design so for me i was looking at my theme here is gray and white and i just wanted to continue that theme here i could have used a white for my backsplash but it would just flush in everything my cabinets are white my island table is white my island chairs are gray and of course you have my island lighting that are also gray my of course my electrical gadgets like my cooker my fridge my microwave my dishwasher they're all silverish gray so i thought it was good to continue with that theme right to continue with that color and just blend everything so we went searching for a backsplash and it was really difficult for the design i wore, wanted really to use i didn't want something too busy and i was looking around you know looking at other people's backsplashes in their homes and eventually found this one and it's really nice it's glass it is glass yes and it really took my handyman a lot of effort to be able to cut it he went from finding the right tool to be able to cut it and ordering another one from amazon i really pitied him but because that was what i wanted he said he wouldn't do that for anybody again. he won't buy this particular one but he actually gave me what i wanted in backspace so i'm very excited to unveil to you the before and then the after so tell me what you think and hit like and subscribe and also put in the comment section what other things you want me to share with you on this channel i keep bringing it to you diy and things that help you to be more efficient more cost saving and things that will also improve your style and beauty in your space so take a look guys and see you now. guys this is just an update on my kitchen backsplash this is the progress i just want you to see what i see behind me really coming up so good so we'll be able to complete this one today just showing you the progress that we've made so far i'm loving it i hope you are Finally, my backsplash is ready. We finally completed the backsplash in my kitchen and I love the tile. I love the finish. I love the color. I love how it blends with everything else in this space. Take a look, guys. I'm sure you love it as well. And I'm going to be decorating it back the way it used to be. Put it right and, you know, just make my kitchen glamorous once again. So, guys, let's go decorate my kitchen. So we're going to be wiping them down. This originally was just a beauty. Sometimes I spray this 
to just give it that aroma so i put this in this corner i also have this jar that i put you know different kinds of sweets and candy so that when i have guests and children they always love to come to this jar so i put it where they can find it just here and finally i have this little cup it's like they use it for shots but i don't do shots but i got this from royal tyrell museum when we went to calgary and i felt it was just a good piece to have in your home just to remember our visits during our vacation last year so this just put it in the corner here then let's move to the other side here i would put this one here i love this this is really nice turn it over from this then this is like almost a junk bowl really but i love the silverish effect just kind of picked a few silver from my cotton rail i really don't have so much silver here but just like my kitchen sink and my cotton rail but this is just like a dump junk but it's decorative we have some paper when we have bills that come in and we need to fill we throw it here we have hand cream to you know just cream your hand on the way out so i just put this here so and I think it works with my silvery tongue coming out from the back splash as well. I have this that stands the iPad for some good music when I'm downstairs. So I put this on the corner here. It's also decorative. So this is how it stands here. Then I can put the iPad on it whenever I'm downstairs in the kitchen. Let's see how this fits. So I think I can swap this. I usually will have this on this corner just to have decor to my kitchen. But maybe I can put this here. I think it's beside the cooker. What does it look like? Anyway, I'll decide. Then, of course, my kettle and stuff. I'm going to give this a good wash. But usually I would put, I'll put that here beside the plug. Then this always stands beside it. Then I have this wire mesh. This is a basket I always just use to elevate the things I put here, like bread. So I have sometimes I put my bread here. Most times. Then I have my coaster for my when I have um, hot pot out of the burner. So I put that here to be able to receive the the hot things so this is my decor then okay i have this one i usually put on this corner i can just change up the paper towel for something bigger so this goes in this corner then i put this beside the burner the cooker area i put this here just for easy grip when i'm cooking yeah so this is just my mini spot decorative spot so i decided to switch things up a bit just move the decorative pieces around this is same as usual so i changed this one i took it from another space and i put this here so what do you think guys